The Gunas Podcast is intended for adult audiences. Listener discretion is advised. In the bayou, you gotta get down in the mud to find the good stuff. It's dark, it's dangerous, and we don't give a shit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Crypto Kunas Podcast. As you know, if you're watching the markets right now, shit's about to get real. Again, we don't talk about markets on this channel, but shit's about to get real. But before shit gets real, I figured I'd like to go over a certain project today to talk about shit getting real and what it is. So today, ladies and gentlemen, you can't really see it up here on the top left corner. But today, we're going to talk about Ethereum. Ethereum, the shitcoin highway, the shitcoin sea. The sea of shit coins, however you want to talk about it, we're going to talk about Ethereum. Now, you might be wondering, well, why are you talking about Ethereum now and not, say, Litecoin or anything else? Well, because Ethereum is a very interesting project. It is a double-edged sword. It can be very good or it can be very bad. I think, personally... I am not a huge fan of Ethereum, to be honest with you, because I think right now we are we're trying to do too much in the crypto space. Okay, we are trying to do too much, ladies and gentlemen. We, you know, we we are just getting off the ground of paying for stuff with the blockchain. Now you want to make its own internet. Well, that's what Ethereum is, and projects like it. So. Let's talk about a little bit of Ethereum. This is pretty much the website. I, You know, I give them their props, you know. But again, let's go over the disclaimer, turds. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't care what the fuck you buy. You buy your own shit. I don't care about what the market is going to do because the lines on a chart do nothing but make us fucking crazy and batshit loco. Bottom line is I'm just a simple blue-collar coon ass looking to see if a project has a real-world value or use case. So, again, what's we're gonna look into Ethereum today? So, let's let's this we're gonna go do in, into the beginner's guide, lady, the blue collar, this description of Ethereum. So, what is Ethereum? It's the foundation of for a new era of internet. Pretty much, it's its own little internet type service. Um, it is its own. It's you know away from the internet. It you know, it's its own little, kind of like a BBS system, if you know what that is. It's pretty much just its own little thing. Uh, this is what they say. I think it's bullshit, but let's read it. An internet where money and payments are built in. Well, we already have that. An internet where users can own their data and your apps don't spy and steal from you. Well, we don't have that yet, but I will say this, you know, you own your own intellectual property, you know, and there's there's another project that talks about owning, owning data and stuff we'll talk about later on, but owning your own data. And that means what you do and how you act and what you buy and all that shit. An internet where everyone has access to open to an open financial system. So pretty much like Bitcoin, you can look up on Etherscan, that's the the uh, the website that shows you all the transactions, and you can look up stuff. So Bitcoin's already doing this, and an internet based on neutral, open access infrastructure, controlled by no company or person. So pretty much, um, like AT and T don't own this infrastructure, and Cox don't own this, and it, it's all open. You know, it's 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 a pipe dream. Okay. Um, it launched in 2015. Um, this is the crypto I talked about last podcast when I said if I, I was mining and I had some and yeah, this is the crypto I was mining. Yeah, this is this is what I lost, ladies and gentlemen. I had about like 30 to 50 a ether like and I could have. Yeah, well, more than probably more than that, but I had a lot. I had a lot of ether and I lost it because my dumb ass didn't back it up wallet. Okay, so 
Ether, okay, so like other blockchains, Ethereum it has this native cryptocurrency called Ether. Now, th this is where it gets tricky because when it, on, on the mark, it's Ethereum, okay? the Okay, so like Bitcoin has its blockchain. Ether has its blockchain. It, they also call it Ethereum. It's the same shit. So don't, they're trying to confuse you there, okay? It's digital money. Again, it's not money. It's fucking currency. It's not backed by anything. These people don't understand what the fucking concept of money versus currency is. I hate when people use, we don't use the right terminology. You need to understand. You own, cur you have currency in your possession. You do not have money, okay? Because money is backed by an actual thing, an actual tangible object. Again, it's not backed. So, it, okay, so Ethereum is programmable. They can use it to build, so you can use the blockchain to put apps on it. Okay, like, you know, your phone has apps, something like that. Um, They call them dApps. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. You go from apps to dApps. I think that's dumb. You know, just call it a uh, cryptocurrency. Just call it an app. It, it, it's an application. It doesn't fucking matter. Why you got to call it DAP? You know, it's just kind of stupid. Whatever. Again, these programmers and, and these programmers think you're stupid, ladies and gentlemen. They um, and I'm going to go over in the next. I'm actually going to be doing two podcasts today, believe it or not, um, like two of them. This one I'll do on Ether. And then the second one I'm not going to talk about yet, but I will tell you. I'm, I'm, it's going to be hard hitting. So if you watch this one, watch the next one. Cause the next one, I'm not going to pull any punches because this is where we're going to get, we're going to some meat and potatoes. I think I, I feel I need to at this time. Okay. So everybody's building applications on Ethereum. That's it. That was the thing about Ethereum. Okay. We can build apps on here. So it's its own internet so we can get away from the internet. Has it happened yet? No. Now, it's become something different. It, that was what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be an internet. But now it's different. It's so different. So let me show you something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to click on an icon here. Now, I'm not going to go through my password or anything like that. But to give you an idea what I guess one of these dApps are, is MetaMask. So MetaMask is a... Uh, if you see, it is a, it's a wallet. This is an actual Ethereum wallet, and I have some stuff in here. I have some ERC. We're going to go over what ERC20 tokens are in a second, but um, pretty much it's, it's an app, and that's the kind of stuff they write where you can you can you wallets and uh, other payment structures and then other types of apps that do other things on browsers and whatnot. So it's kind of, it, I mean, remember, guys, we're looking at tech. We're looking at a real world use model on this show. And, and I mean, Ethereum, it's a double edge. When I get through it all, you're going to realize why I say this is the double edged sword of crypto. Bitcoin is straight up your payment, like your gold. Like, I'm going to buy shit with it. I'm going to buy a car. I'm going to buy a house. Okay. Litecoin, that's why I didn't really touch Litecoin yet. It's, it's the silver of the crypto world. Litecoin, same thing. You buy shit with it. It's faster than uh, Bitcoin right now. But this guy here was a game changer. Ethereum, the Ethereum network was a game changer. But at the beginning, when I said a sea of shit coins, you're gonna see why in a second because something something happened with Ethereum. Ethereum, when it started, I remember when it first when this is kind of when I really started getting into crypto, when I, in about 2014, 15, and I read about Ethereum and I was kind of impressed, like wow, you know, so you, you're gonna be able to think in new internet, you know, kind of like wow, you know. But really what it was, it was a it was a doorway. Okay? It was a doorway to some shit. <laughs> okay, so supposedly you were supposed to be able to do anything you could online on the Ethereum network with apps like borrow money, pay for shit, um, games, uh, you know, all this stuff. Like, oh yeah, like like kinda like what the internet does now, in a way. Um, however, it became even even this guy, okay, so this guy is Vitalik Buterin, 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 whatever his name is. This guy no longer supports Ethereum, like, because it's changed. Like, this this guy don't even support his own fucking project. Horowitz does, you know, I mean, and, but, but Vitalik, he, 
uh, boy, he's uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's the one who's really talked bad about his own project because he because it, it it changed it 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 was it it is not what it's not what it was supposed to be, and I'm gonna go over that in a second. What what really what happened? So remember, we're reading all this and they're talking about we're gonna do wallets, financial applications, so like banking, um. Decentralized markets, you can trade digital assets, even trade predictions about events and gamble, gamble games where you can own in game assets and even make real money. So like if you have a specific like I'll give you a prime example of that. If you were if you own, say, say, a say a rare item in Warcraft, World of Warcraft, and you want to sell it on the market, you can sell it for real time money. Um, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm really not for that. I think that ruins a game, ruins a game. It totally will pay to win, but that's one of the things it could do, um, much, much more, but this is what happened. So the other thing that the Ethereum network allowed you to do was actually make an ICO, a project on their platform, right? Yes, that is correct. A project on their platform. So. What is an ERC-20 token? So, pretty much, this is what happens. Okay, so, what they do is they make, they, they, uh, let's see, six functions. No, I'm, I'm a, I'm, okay, let me back up. So, an ICO decides we're going to make a new project. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the Ethereum blockchain to do it. And we will have something called a smart contract. So, you might be wondering, what do you mean smart contract? What the fuck are you talking about? Because I went from banking to a contract. So pretty much, um, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to do this in a very quick way for you guys. So pretty much, it's a technical standard for ERC-20. Um, the tokens standard use for all smart contracts on Ethereum blockchain. Okay, so the smart contract is pretty much a, a contract between the Ethereum network or or you. Like, man, hold on, let me. I'm I'm gonna get into smart con. Let me let me back up. I'll do smart contracts in a second. But the ERC twenties um, empowers developers of all types to accurately predict how new tokens will function within the larger Ethereum system. Okay, so. Pretty much, uh, fortunately for the vast majority, developers have fallen in line with the ERC, meaning that most of the tokens released through the initial current are ERC-20 compliant. Pretty much what they're doing, like I'm going to tell you what these ICOs are doing. A lot of these projects, and I'm going to show them in a second, are actually making their own blockchains. They're using Ethereum to raise money and give people tokens like like stock, saying, okay, look. And that's what they're doing. That's That's the real fucking, that's the truth. All these other contracts, oh, we're going to be on the Ethereum platform and an ERC-20 token, and then it's going to do this, this, this. No, because they're either, either A, they're using it as a token, which is like stock, or you're going to get a service, which that's what the that's what the smart contract does. It's the service it will provide. Or it's going to be exchanged for the actual token on its, on its own platform. Okay? So... That's why I started this saying the the sea of shit coins because that's kind of what Ethereum has become. And let me let me so a lot of people you know Ethereum yes can pay for shit. You can use Ethereum Ether Ethereum to pay for shit, but on its blockchain you have all these other coins. Okay, on its blockchain they're ERC twenty. They have a smart contract which is what it's going to do. Either either it's worth something or it's going to give you a service or whatever. So let's go into this ERC-20 nightmare because that's what I think it is. It's, a, it's an ERC-20 fucking nightmare. <laughs> okay, so what I've done here is e we went to Etherscan. Now, when you go to Etherscan, you know, on the top here, it shows um, it shows you, like, the changes and all that stuff, you know, uh, up 12%. Again, we don't talk about the market here. We don't give a fuck because all of this shit – Real world use is not really being used, so I don't because I can't see why all this shit is worth this money. But whatever. Okay, so these are the top ERC twenty now. BNB. This is the Binance token. Remember, I told you, ladies and gentlemen, that these guys are actually making their own blockchain. Well, guess what? 
that fucking coin, Binance is going to have its own network, and the Binance coin is going to be on the network. You'll be swapped out for those. Okay? Maker. Maker is a decentralized autonomous organization that creates and ensures the DAI stable coin on the Ethereum blockchain. Again, it's creates and ensures the DAI stable coin. So it's what it is. It makes, I guess it backs, it, it, it's the value behind the DAI, the DAI stable coin, whatever. Again, what is it really doing? Nothing. <laughs> ba basic, okay, now basic attention token. I will tell you this. This one's a game changer. This one's different. Um, it's for digital advertising, but it's very inter It's a very interesting coin. I'm not going to go into bat yet because that will have its own podcast. I will tell you, I'll just give you a brief deal that bat is used on a, it's used on a web browser that you are awarded these tokens for watching ads. It's part of it. It's a very interesting use case. It's, it's probably one of the few I say that actually has a real, real world use case. So, but we're not going to get into bat. I don't want to spoil that one because I'm going to love doing that one. I can't wait to do it. Crypto.com chain. Crypto.com chain. Pay and be paid in crypto anywhere with any crypto for free. So, I, I so again, I don't know why you know, I guess this, what this chain does is it, if you want to pay, be paid in one crypto and change it to another to be paid, I guess you can do that. I don't really, I mean, I don't know a lot of this, some of these projects. V chain, okay. V chain uh, aims to connect blockchain technology to the real world by providing comprehensive governance structure, a robust economic model, as well as an IoT integration. Another blockchain. Again, another blockchain. If their tokens are on here now, so that they can, so once their blockchain is finished, they can, they've already raised this, they use this blockchain to raise the money so that when it's time, then they can swap the tokens out and then you'll get a service on the blockchain. Again, that's what it is. These block shit coins, see a shit coins, right? You know, VChain, I'm not really happy on. USD coin, US dollar stable coin. Again, same shit. Omos eyes, Omos eyes go. Um, it's a, that is a digital wallet platform. That one, again, I don't really touch on because this can have a real, an interesting real world use case. It's a wallet. Omai's Go is a, is, a, is a wallet. It's, a, it's an actual wallet. Chainlink token, a uh, bridge between cryptocurrency, smart contracts, and off-chain resources like data feeds, various web APIs. This Chainlink token will be used to um, pretty much have like a contract on like other types of contracts on like smart contracts, like actual loans and shit. That's what I kind of talking about. Uh, now, and, and, and guys, you can see why I wanted to go into Ethereum today was because Ethereum opens the door to the coins we need to talk about. I mean, well, I'll talk about Litecoin. I like Litecoin and, and, and I'll talk about some of these other projects, Cardano and, and uh, Tron. And, but Ether opens the door to the shit coins, like what really needs to be talked about in the space, the shit coins, the fucking garbage. Why we have we do not have mass adoption after 10 years. You know, the well, part of it is governments don't want to lose. You know, they don't want, you know, there, there's a, it's a big, we'll have a podcast just on that shit. But, but the guys right here, so I'm just going, I'm, I'm not going to go over them all. Zaquila, that's one I, I know about a little bit. Pundi X, um, I think I've talked about Pundi X a little bit, but no, I haven't. That's uh, payment systems. But the icon, um, comprise different institutions, uh, financial insurance companies, hospitals, university, and more. Uh, they so you have a lot of their information and buying shit on on the Ethereum network. So you see, you have all these you know KuCoin shares that you, those are KuCoin exchange. You get uh, you get dividends by holding them. Some of those that's what it is. You hold these tokens, they give you dividends. Some of them, you know, there, there's a bunch of different things they do but look how many they have this look look page one of 19 okay one of 19 guys 50 per page you do the math i mean that's that's, that's nuts okay there's 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 a, there's a part of a thousand projects erc20 tokens on here probably close to a thousand and probably more than not even listed and whatever so this is why I call Ethereum the sea of shit coins. Because a lot of this shit, guys, 
A lot of this shit right now, we don't need. Like, we don't fucking need these, these a lot of this shit. Like, all, like look, online games and social apps. I mean, and I'm going to go into detail on a lot of these fucking coins. But we're talking the th- we're just talking about Ethereum today. So with Ethereum, you know, and then I'll go uh let's see, let me go back to this. We'll we'll go look. Okay. So let's talk about the wallet, you know, because I like to talk about, you know, the actual project and what you do. So let me you know what? I'm gonna switch to hold on. Let me let me do something here because I don't want you to. I don't want you guys to see something. I'm sorry. I just. I don't think you'll be able to see it. Let me see. I can always. Uh, yeah, I don't want you to see. I, I am sorry. I don't. I do not want y'all to see. Okay, so we'll, we'll, let's go. Uh, okay. Um, let's go to. Uh, we find the wallet. There we go. Okay, so apps, crypto kitties, veal, place bets. It's a betting. You see, die holds a value of one dollar. You see, here we go. Let's use. Let's go to this. We're gonna go to forty Ethereum apps you can use right now. Let's 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 look at that. Ninety plus Ethereum apps you can use right now. Okay, let's see. Let's fucking see. Okay, MetaMask. Okay, now, MetaMask. I will tell you is I like I, I like the ease of use of MetaMask. You can get on the Ethereum network. You can do payments. They're pretty quick. You can you can transfer tokens, ERC twenty tokens, in the wallet. Um, you can literally. Um, what's so cool about bad is, I mean, about MetaMask is you can literally add like add the con- smart contract and add ERC twenty tokens. Um, MetaMask, I'm, pr- I'm, I- I'm like, I do like it. Status, I don't know much about status. I, I've looked at it a little bit. It's okay. Uh, Brave is what I was telling you about the Brave browser with, with the uh, basic attention tokens. We're gonna do a whole. We're, we're not. I am not gonna go over that. We're gonna do a whole deal on that. Okay, Ethereum uh, Coinbase wallet. So that's uh, connected to Coinbase. That's a that's a uh, an exchange. Uh, Opera, uh, DAP browser. Opera used to be a normal browser. So Opera, um, I guess they went onto the Ethereum network. Uh, balance add all your Ethereum wallets to keep track of your tokens, loans, and investments. Um, Civic, uh, data management. Self key. Self key is another one. Uh, self sovereign identity system. Um, uh, that we're gonna go over that one too. Uh, again, some of these I like, some of them I don't. I'm gonna be honest with you, and it's and again, guys, it's tech. It has nothing to do with price or 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 anything or speculation or what it's gonna do. It's 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 strictly for me, strictly for me, a real world use case. And and a lot of these, you know, they some of them have them and some of them don't. Like I said, Ethereum is the double edged sword of crypto. There's some stuff on the Ethereum network, guys, that I think are awesome. I think it's going to it's going to do great. Some of them uh there's one, I don't know what it's called. I'll have to look it up. There's one that you it's actually free web security and by using it you earn tokens, you know, by, you know, interacting and telling them what's going on. Uh you have one um that uh they do they're using for like advertisements and I can't uh not um not basic attention but another one uh, going into actually into the store and um, you know they 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 sell data and stuff and I mean um, that one is a controversial one I want to go over too but um, again like I said guys the reason why we're going over Ethereum today is this is the doorway this opens the Pandora's box into all these like some of them are good and some of them are shit that's for you to decide guys that's you you know you gotta read these projects and you got to take it now as for the actual ethereum project i think that ethereum would have been way different um if if we didn't have as many developers i think it would have been more of an internet infrastructure but because you have all these developers and all these dApps it's pretty much 
the Android. It's it's not an internet. It's like Android. So pretty much it's the Android of the of, of the crypto space where you have all these applications on there that you can use and do certain things with them. That's all it is. Um, we already have that, you know. So whether or not it was needed or not, I, I don't know. Um, one thing I do know with Ethereum is that um, there's a lot of people who like Ethereum. Uh, they like the, the apps. But a lot of but a lot of projects are using Ethereum to make their own shit. You see what I mean? So it's kind of a catch twenty two. Like, like Zequila. Zequila is one of them. Zequila is actually will be making. They they're doing kind of what a Cardano's doing, and they're I think they're trying to make another, like like their app and st- like they're gonna have their own blockchain or whatever. So it's almost like it's they're just using Ethereum to get to where they need to be, and like I said, to to raise the money. And that's that. I'm not gonna go into how ICOs, IEOs raise money. Like, that's gonna be the next podcast. The, the next podcast is gonna go into depth about the crypto space right now. What I really think, but just for this podcast, we're talking about Ethereum. It's it's pretty self explanatory. I mean, think if you think about if you think about Android, like your Android phone and all the apps there. That's kind of what Ethereum is. Um, I would call it. Ethereum more of a platform than an actual internet. Uh, I don't like how they um, describe that because literally, it, yeah, you can transfer stuff on the Ethereum network, but for what it's doing, it's providing a platform for other apps and other developers to provide you content. So that's like Android, you know, or that's, you know, internet kind of does that, but, you know, this is more app driven. So it's kind of like, the the apple phone or whatever okay um so how do you get it well um you can buy it again you can buy ether from coinbase coin mama all those places and you know what i'm going i'm going to lo- let me go to uh coin mama just because coin mama um i don't have to um i'm not gonna log in I can just show you, like, like I can just show you. They have pricing, and you can they have drop down menu, so you can see kind of how it works. So, you you lo- you you bu- you know you log in, okay? You log in right here. I'm not gonna log in, but you see you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, Quantum, and Ethereum Classic. Those are all coins. One thing I want to talk to you about real quick: the difference between a coin and a token. A token has a utility. A token will be giving you something. Or, uh, either a service or speculative as in it's kind of like stock because that's kind of how they're using these coins in the crypto space right now it's like stock it's like there's there's speculation how it'll rise and whatever again we're not going to talk about that but that's what people why they trade crypto is vol- very volatile uh network uh, uh i'm sorry trading space but on Coin Mama, as you can see, you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and it's real time. It's not, you know, they're not screwing you off. Um, so that's that's a place you can go if you wanted to go. Um, now, um, uh, I don't, I'm trying to trying to stay away from. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm I'm trying not to get into the uh, speculative area of speculative areas of the crypto space because it's not what I want to do. So. So again, think of think of Ether, Ethereum network as a content provider for all this stuff. And you can go look, go to etherscan.com or I mean I'm sorry, etherscan.io slash tokens. And you can you can go there yourself and read up on these pro- you can all these projects have a web page just like Ether does. And and when we start we start touching some of this stuff, we're gonna go into these web pages. So you know they, you know they, they're building up their stuff. You know, make you wallets that make you make cheap instant payments, financial applications that you borrow in or invest your digital assets. You now, you borrow against what you have. Okay, that's how borrowing. It's not like you build an application, you get free money like the way the credit system is now. Decentralized markets. Uh, there are uh, markets on here that are decentralized. You know, they're not. You know, let you trade. Even trade predictions. I mean, that's just crazy the way they say that. Okay, so use an application on built on what is how do I get it? What is it? Okay, we've kind of talked about all that. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, you can uh, learn uh, resources. Uh, decentral- it, it, you know, th- I will say this, that the Ethereum, the Ethereum network is really good about educating their, their users. I, I will say that I've, I've, I have, see, look, you have ETH 2.0 and 1.X, you know, um, and they have forks and there, there's a lot of things we're going to talk about. Like when we really get into a pr- project, like what is a fork and what is, you know, what, what's the difference between Ethereum and Ethereum classic? You know, uh, there's a lot of things out there that a lot of you blue collar folk don't know. And we're going to take care of you because these other fuckers aren't taking care of you. You see, that's why I do this show. I do this show. I, I'm doing this show. Because YouTube crypto YouTubers aren't helping Blue Collar Joe out there. They're not helping out the, the, the normal working class citizen. They talking all this jargon that you're not going to understand. They're going to use these big words and they're going to use all this shit to maybe get you to promote what they're doing. Now, there's some good crypto YouTubers out there, okay? Um, over time, I will, I will talk about who I listen to because I do listen to some of them. I, I, I want to be upfront. I am an admin for one of them. Um, however, there are some things that he does that I do question and he knows it. Um, not big time, but, um, I'm, I'm very blunt. You know, I'm not going to sit here and and tell you like this YouTuber. I'm not, I'm not going to pitch anything. Okay. If a project wants me to look at something, they're going to get a very honest assessment based upon our four things, which we'll talk about in a second. Because you know we're going to go over it. That's how it, that's how it goes, you know. But the the point of the matter is, oh, um, it's flashing, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about the flashing. It's just I'm turning I'm turning another screen on. Um. The 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 bottom line is, is that nobody is sitting here and telling these damn crypto uh makers or these developers they're not telling them shit they're doing what they want like i want i want you to know that they're they're doing what they want they 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 do what they want and guess what you're sit you so you sit here and you're like well well some bitch you know they do what they want they don't tell you what's going on with their project and Y'all miss out like blue collar Joe misses out on an opportunity or they con you out of money. And then and then the value of this coin goes down because it's a shit coin and there's no recourse. So. I mean, they're, this is why why they have. I mean, I'm kind of mixed on this because this is why they have shit for the SEC like they have, you know, they have. um You know. SEC rules and regs about investments, but then at the same time, in my opinion, you should better do what the fuck you want with your money. You know, it's it's a, it's a catch twenty two. It's like, you know, what do you do? So it's you know, it's kind of why I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to, um, I don't know how how to take that. You know, um, if that makes sense. And if you want, I'm just looking for my. <laughs> Looking for my, I forgot. I'm. I feel so bad right now because I'm looking for my um. My my thing that tells me like my four things I use to judge a coin, and for some fucking reason, it's not. It's not up. I I put it up. Stupid. No. That's stupid, man. I feel bad. I'm going to find it, but again, I might, uh, cut the video and add it here, but no. So, but I know what the four things are. So number one, what the hell does it do? So Ethereum is like an app driven content provider, or it's, it's, it's kind of like if the internet was just a bunch of apps, that's what it is. There's no, you know, there, there is no web address. There is no worldwide web. It's not like the internet. The internet, it, it's more of a content provider. So think of Ethereum kind of like a worldwide version of, of Android. And everybody has it and you connect it and then boom. Okay. It uses the internet to give you the apps to connect through the apps. Okay. What has it done for me lately? Well, 
what it's done for, for us lately is um, add more and more shit coins. Okay? That's all it does is add more and more shit coins. That's all it's been doing. That's all I'm going to say there. I'm not going to go into more. Can mama use it? Can my grandma, can your grandma use it? Can can an older generation use it? Yes and no in this case. If you're using it to pay for stuff, you know, using Ether to pay for stuff with the MetaMask app, yes. If you're going to ask mama, grandma to develop an app for the program, no. Will they understand really what an ERC-20 token is? Probably not. Okay, so this one, again, it's the double-edged sword of crypto. It's a tread lightly type deal because it can be used, the Ether itself can be used to pay for stuff and the blockchain itself can be used for apps. However, it's the ERC-20 tokens that bother me. There's too fucking many of them. There's too many fucking ICOs. Again, everybody's thinking way too far ahead of what's actually going on on real world use. So, um, with that, I'll just say this with Ether. Okay, guys. Um, Ether, just know that you have other apps on Ether. We'll talk about those apps. Do your research. Okay. Do your, when you doing all these apps or you decide to use them, do your research and find out exactly what the fuck they do, okay? Because you have wallets on there. You have Crypto Kitties, which is a game, which is stupid. You got one that's like Pokemon that didn't last long. Uh, and, you know, you want to link, cost either to pay, play these games. So just be careful. You got gambling sites. Be careful, guys. Be careful, okay? Um, with that, guys. Again, thank you for tuning in. This is the um, this was you know a good one with Ether. I will have a couple more on this weekend. Um, and with that, like I always tell you guys, remember: do not, do not be a shit. Bye.